In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a Gitcoin passport. And the reason why you might want to get one of these Gitcoin passports is that it proves that you are a unique user, not a bot and not a civil attacker. And so if we're talking about airdrops in the future, by having a Gitcoin passport and having lots of stamps in it, then you could increase your likelihood of getting an airdrop and also make sure that you don't get screened out of airdrops for being a bot or a civil attacker. So let's get right into it. For starters, you're gonna to want to go to gitcoin.co slash passport and then you're gonna to want to hit on the launch passport button. Once you do that, you have to sign in with Ethereum using your Web3 wallet. In this case, I'm using MetaMask. After you've connected your wallet, you have to go through a couple of verification steps and it automatically scans your wallet for on-chain activity and tells you which stamps you're qualified for right off the bat. Of course, there's gonna be more that we can get, but you can see immediately, just after connecting my wallet, it identifies that I have completed all of these activities on-chain I can hit confirm stamps and move to the next step. So this is what the Gitcoin passport dashboard looks like. Now you can see here, it says that this is my default humanity score. Just based off of my normal on-chain activity, it says that my humanity score is a 9.91 out of 100 and the passing threshold is 20. So we need to bump this up a little bit before we make sure that we get through any Sybil or bot screens. And the way that we can do that is by adding stamps. And so the different things that you can do to add stamps is prove that you've participated in some activities, for example, making donations on Gitcoin or voting via the Snapshot application. But you can also, for example, connect a Twitter account or a LinkedIn account or a Facebook or a Google account. And each of these things give you points to help prove that you are a unique user and every time you get a little bit closer to that threshold of 20 points to prove that you are a human. So I'm gonna connect my Twitter account right now just to show you how it works. You get a certain amount of points depending on when your Twitter account was created. Now, unfortunately, my Twitter account is not old enough to qualify for any points. The older that your Twitter account is, the more points you get. A Google account though, and once you connect a Google account and you sign the transaction, then if I scroll back up, you can see that I've gotten additional points. So I've gotten closer to that 20 point threshold. And the idea is that you can verify your identity by either connecting your different social media accounts or by completing the activities that you need to complete to qualify for these points. So for example, making donations on Gitcoin. And once you've reached the threshold of 20 points, you can scroll down to the bottom and click this button that says, bring your stamps on chain. And when you do that, you can mint your Gitcoin passport with all your stamps to either the Optimism, the Linea, or the PGN network. And that is going to help you prove that you are a unique human user and not a bot or a civil and potentially help you qualify for future airdrops. Hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful and good luck filling out your Gitcoin passport and collecting all the points.